Tenzin Wangu Rinpoche began teaching an ancient tradition from Tibet to Western students beginning in 1989. And in 1992, he founded Ligmincha, an organization that's devoted to helping support Western practitioners to encounter these teachings, to support the lamas and the teachers who come from Tibet and from India, to, to give us these different teachings, ways of working with our mind, of working with our bodies, of working with our breath, um, that will instill a sense of inner peace, of calm, and of connectedness, not only to ourselves, but to each other. Originally, these teachings, these bun practices, were very hard to come by, and one would have to travel great distances and suffer great hardship to find a teacher who was qualified to offer them. Finding them in the mountains of the Himalayas, in Tibet, in caves, and far removed from, from cities, from other dwellings. Serenity Ridge is the first retreat center of Ligmincha's and of Tenzin Rinpoche's. It's located in southwest Virginia, about half an hour south of Charlottesville. In our own lives, when we're at home, when we're at work, when we're with our families, it's so very hard to find space to really deeply commit to these teachings, to ingrain them in our patterns of behavior, and to become familiar enough with them that they become a natural part of who we are. So while it's wonderful to be able to practice online with the free teachings that we offer and the courses that are offered on League Mincha Learning, and with now with the recently offered the Facebook Live teachings that Rinpoche is doing every week, it's a very different experience to come for day upon day upon day to just do nothing but commit to the practices, to relax, to spend time in the company of other people who are equally committed. Tenzin Rinpoche, when he teaches, he has found a way to take what can be fairly complex and esoteric teachings from a culture that is very unfamiliar to Westerners. And he translates them into a way that is immediately practicable in our daily lives, in our daily setting, even in the midst of having to run to the grocery store and get ready for work and get your kids to the bus and figure out what you're going to do for dinner and planning next weekend's trip away, you can still find that stillness, that inner peace, that stability in your life that you don't have to be shaken by all the other things going on.